This playthrough is rated E for everyone. All right, we're about to pop up through Dracula's basement. He's going to be surprised. Greetings and salutations, viewers. While we're back here with another episode of Castlevania III, Dracula's Curse. In the last episode, we went through the road less traveled. Didn't take the shortcut. Also, we didn't take that vampire's son with us. So, uh, you know, we're not going to use a monster to, to fight a monster. No siree, Bob. Mm -mm. We're going to fight this guy legit with a ghost pirate and a vampire hunter. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, let's, try, let's see if we can try to, like, fight this guy legit this time. And, uh, you know, like not, uh, oh, crap, 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 crap. Oh, no, that, ah, dang it. Oh, well. Not much I can do about that, unfortunately. He just, sometimes it's, you can, like, get him to, you just have to be careful about not moving too far away. Ah, you cheeky punk. You're not supposed to, like, charge if, I, if I'm not too far away from you, you know what I mean? Oh. Well, there's not much I can do with that. Oh, we're getting enough life to gain a level. Hopefully we don't have enough, uh... I think we should be able to do enough damage to this guy. This guy isn't super hard. You just have to be careful about when you're on the ground when fighting the final boss here. A big old gargoyle. You just have to be... Not on the, um... Basically, we can't be on the ground when he drops because it'll stun us for a second, so... Yeah, with the... I was about to say, with the cross this should be fair to little easily but I forgot that he can uh, shoot those fireballs but we got him either way so all it takes is just a lot more lives and a calm <laughs> would that suck if that killed you <laughs> it didn't but you know I'd be like oh no actually wasn't there a couple Dracula or Castlevania games that did something like that where you got hurt by like the last attack by the creature after it died in such a cheap manner something like that anyway I don't remember Anyway, continue. now we're actually in Dracula's Castle official, official now. Because we could have gone in the official way if we'd gone the shorter route in the last episode. But uh, And here we are. Yep, uh, classic music and everything like that. I love it. Ah! And of course I grabbed the dagger. Oh well. But yeah, now we're officially in Dracula's Castle. And I love the uh, callback music, of course. Cannot get enough of the original. I mean, I don't mind them making new music in the game, but obviously, you know, if they can bring it back every once in a while as a uh, as a reference or something, you know, just to say, hey, we 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 remember it. It's there. So just keep throwing axes at them until. Oh, we've only got so many hearts though. Hmm. No, anyway, yeah, I used most of those during the. Uh... Actually, no, all the hearts. Re I've, I was thinking for a second, so we used all the hearts during the boss. I'm like, that's not how that works. The the uh, hearts reset because you know you get credit for those or you get points for those hearts. You know? I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, sometimes I have like weird, weird like thoughts like that where I know the concept of the the game and how it works. Yet sometimes I'll just get stupid all of a sudden. I'll be like, yeah, I don't remember this. I got more headless horsemen or Dulahans. I assume that's supposed to re represent the Dulahan with uh, him holding his head there, or it could just be a zombie holding his head. Actually, you know what the the, the uh, clock isn't a bad idea here, now that I think about it. Ooh, we also get a heart here. I don't know why I just didn't walk through. God, I wish I had, uh, wish most modern music, more modern music was catchy. Aw, oh, come on, man. Uh, oh, well. Maybe anyway, let's do the shortcut like we always do. Not that I'm saving that much more time by doing this, but, yeah. Ooh. It's gonna drop down though. Ow! Oh, that is so cheap. Yeah, if they drop down, they can possibly do, you know, all that damage to me. Oh, wait. wait let's, let's just stay on Grant so we can use that axe. Oh, sure, he does. Oh, yeah, we have an axe with uh, Trevor too. Hmm. Anyway, I want to kill this. Uh, it's gonna drop down. Oh, I think it's one of those where it has to be. Oh, come on, man. There we go. Where's the other, like, uh, one that was dropping from before? Hmm. I don't know. Oh, well, anyway. Yeah. yeah. I can't believe it took all that damage from that slime. Little... You know, I knew it was going to drop. As soon as I was climbing the stairs, I was like, oh, it's going to drop, and I'm going to take a ton of damage. And I didn't do anything to stop it. But at least I've got this axe. Well, uh, he actually almost got, got me with the axe. Multiple times. Oof, almost got me there. Oh, wow, <laughs> all right. 
I was actually wasn't expecting to hit the green slime thing at the same time. I was like, oh, this is. Oh. Mm. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab the holy water. I always forget, like. I mean, like I said, I don't play test these levels. I do, like, a lot of my games I do play test, but this is one of the few cases where I actually don't play test ahead of time. I'm just playing it as is, trying to go from memory to see if I recall everything correctly. And for the most part, it just goes to show I only remember half of this game. Eh, eh. Oh! I wanted to get that. That's, uh, of course. That that was my plan all along. I, I wanted to waste that two, two block or whatever it was. <laughs> whatever. I really gotta stop just to... Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Well, then. I mean, should have switched to, uh... I don't know why I didn't switch to, uh, Grant for that. Because he's faster than the, than the stairs, but, uh... And I didn't need to grab every single thing on the way there, so... Now let's grab a thing. Oh, the cross, yes. Or boomerang. Let's grab the boomerang so we can grab the, uh... This and uh, well, at least we have three lives, so we can afford it. But yeah, I should have switched to Grant for this because he's faster on his feet than Trevor is. <clears throat> what would it be like to uh, do this from? Actually, I think you, I think you stop climbing when you do that with Grant because of the. Uh, there's one part of the. Uh, I think it's up ahead here. No, no, I guess not. Yeah, that'd be kind of weird to go through this whole thing. Yeah, so you can just outrun it as Grant. Now, why didn't I do that before? Shh. Okay, I forgot. Yep. Alright, oh, we got an encounter here. Yeah, I just forgot to switch to Grant. I was just wasn't paying attention. Anyway, we got another boss here. Woohoo! Alright, where are you? Up, oh, it's the Grim Reaper. Yeah. You remember this bad boy? Ah, oh, dang it! And the the thing is, the, uh... Oh! The thing is, the cross is actually the best... Or, boomerang. The boomerang is actually the best weapon to use on death, too. Because of just its range and it being able to... Usually, the idea is to... There we go, got him. What the? He's got another form. Yeah, he's got two forms. Um, yeah, that's a. Ooh! Dang it. Alright. Yeah. I mean, he's not that hard. I'm just. Make, oh, no! Oh, I missed it. Dang it. Oh, well. Um, if you. Uh, yeah, if, if you don't have a, a sub weapon, it just uh, doesn't work. Anyway. Um, well, I wanted to go up there and grab it, but the thing is, when you hit that um, little area there. Uh, it, uh, when you hit the wall and don't complete it and, like, leave to go away, it doesn't finish the wall, if that makes sense. Uh-oh, let's, uh, switch to Grant. Or at least if I switch to Grant, it'll give me enough time to collect some of the candles and see if I want to grab any of them, just for the, uh, hearts. Woo. I'll probably just stick... I was about to say, I'll probably just stick to Trevor for this. Yeah, I need a beat the Grim Reaper in the first go-around without dying. This is when the bosses start... I mean, okay, this guy isn't super tough. I'm just being bad at this. That's all. Ah! Well, I was waiting. Oh, come on! Ah, I'm, st I'm doing so bad today. So bad. Usually I'm pretty good at this game, despite, you know... And yeah, you can't uh, really... You have to basically, re re like, use your... Uh, Whoops. Dang it. Yeah, he uh, just kind of swings around in a circle and sometimes will sen uh, send uh, sides at you and stuff like that. So, and you can't really use sub-weapons for this. So, And his uh, little twirling head like gets uh, faster. That'd be oh, no! No! <laughs> oh, like I said, he's not hard. I'm just I'm just being really bad today at, at this. So. so don't take my don't take my skills. You know, for the range of difficult. I mean, this game is difficult, but it's not unreasonable. I'm just being bad at it. You know? I will admit I'm, I'm bad at these games. I still like them, though. So, switch to uh, Grant. I mean, you could use Grant, I guess, against the head because he is faster. It's just I like the range of uh, of Trevor's whip. So I don't know. I could switch to Grant when we're trying to take the skull because the only thing is you can't use sub weapons on him, and. Uh, you know, and obviously he just goes spins around in a circle. But the thing about that is, is that uh, um, you can't touch him at all. Which I mean, obviously couldn't touch any of the bosses. But you know what I mean. That's right. Try, I want to try not to get hit during the first part of that battle. But you know, where you just get the uh, basically what you do is you get that uh, uh, 
the boomerang ready to go, so. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, no. Wow, I am just, just... Oh, what the heck, man? Oh, wow. Wow. I am doing terribly. <laughs> I mean, there's no... There, there's no uh, ifs, ands, or buts about like me being terrible. I'm just being bad at this. Now I'm gonna have to redo this whole level again. Luckily, the level isn't that long, so it's because you're fighting tougher bosses. So, really, the toughest boss really is the final boss of the game. I mean, um, that one. I I forgot how many times I had to do that one, and there. I mean, I'll show you when we get to it. It's just that will probably take me quite a few tries. So, yeah, run faster than it. So. Yeah, if I don't take any damage during the first part, you know, I'd be fine. But, ooh, I have to be really bad about it. I, I'm, I'm getting more frustrated at myself because I'm just doing so bad at this guy. Because, like I said, he's, I mean, his power is a little weird, but it's not the, like, that can't be figured out. Ah, no. Dang it. No, won't. There we go. Now let's get that out. Yeah, so you can't use the... His, uh, you can't use your sub-weapons on him. Just gotta get... Just gotta get enough of a range away to... Ah! Oh, right, I forgot the, uh... I forgot if you don't destroy those things, they they keep coming at you. So, what the? I died. How? Uh, okay. Did you see that, folks? I like jumped into him, stabbed him, and I died. Like, and I had full. I almost had full health. Was that, did I hit a glitch, or is it just a sub characters die instantly when they touch uh touch him? Huh. Okay, all right, I'll uh, see you guys back at uh, at the Grim Reaper. That was strange. I don't know how that happened. Seriously, I, I should have taken a hit, and that's it. So, at least as far as I'm aware of. Okay, anyway, I'll, I'll see you back at uh, death. All right, but no Belmont fears the Reaper. All right, let's try this one more time. I don't know why. I, I, I'll, I'll, I have no idea, folks, like, why... Um, like why it died instantly against the Reaper, like that had to been like some bug or maybe considered like me going out of bounds when uh, when he hit me. Like as far as I know, because as as far as I'm aware of hitting touching him does not insta kill you in this game. It's supposed to just do damage and that's it. You know, it's supposed to like knock you away and you go, oh, I took some, I took some heat, man. You know, it's like I don't know. Ew. I mean, maybe you insta die on this guy. I didn't th uh, see. I got hit by him, and he didn't. I didn't die that time. Yeah, sometimes it's a little annoying. Getting, uh... Yeah, the annoying thing about this boss fight is not being able to use your sub weapons. So, oh well. Anyway, we beat him. So, yay! I I shouldn't have died that many times, folks. To tell you the truth, like re going through this and not having to worry about recording, I steeled myself a little bit better to fight him. So, oh well. I guess it just goes to show I'm not a very good, like, on the cusp or, like, someone, you know, uh, I don't know what the word is, like, when someone's watching me or maybe, like, when I'm on tr uh, on the stand or something like that, so. But anyway, let's head on to the next section of Dracula's Castle. Yeah, we're almost there, folks. Like, this game is not very long. It's a couple hours, like, even less than that, really, if you know what you're doing, so. Let's see. Actually, can I get over there? Oh, no. I have to be, I have to be Alucard. Uh, Grant's jump is not that high. Yeah, we've got the owls, or I guess in this case, harpies, dropping the Igors or whatever you want. Ugh. Oh, come on. These guys are... Like, you could easily guess when these guys are falling, but, you know, you know, you know me. You know, I gotta, I gotta fail every time and, uh, you know, get hit by everything under the sun. No, I don't want that axe. Well, actually, I could have given that to, uh... Um, Grant. Actually, I could be using Grant on there just to run past these guys faster because of his speed. I keep, I keep forgetting to take advantage of Grant's speed. He is the fastest character in the game. I mean, there's a reason for that. So, take advantage of it, my friend. It'll do you good. Well, wonders never cease. Luckily, when you get to nope, no hearts there, no health. 
Oh well. Yeah, too bad. Uh, too bad. Side characters don't um, split health bars like he gets his own bar or something like that. I wonder if that was original concept for it, and they're like, nah, that made the game too easy. So, and then like I said they made it one of the harder, hardest of the. Uh, uh, yeah, the cool thing about Grand is I never show this off, but when he uses his ability, he'll he can use his ability while climbing and it usually goes straight. Depending, well, if he's using the dagger, go straight. If axe, it's obviously hooks, but uh, you know. yeah. That's one of the things I didn't really take advantage of was showing off Grant's like you know uh, acrobatics and everything like that. So the lone, all oh, right. You know, it's this place. This is when it starts getting a little little hairy there. Let's see. Probably the next one, I think. Nope! I should have waited a little bit longer. Yeah, unfortunately these things tend to kill you. That's just how it is. Yeah, I just gotta wait a few seconds while uh, while you get a couple drops in before you go, so... Yeah, I jumped a little way too early on that, so... Ugh. Unfortunately, that means losing a life like that and all my hearts, but... That's what you get. That, that's what I get. That's what I get. And you live and you learn. Yeah, I'm not gonna grab that candle. I don't want that candle. I feel like I am above that candle. You know? Yeah, and then we got another level where these guys just like to spawn around. And I don't have my I don't have my long whip right now or a sub weapon to take advantage of that. Ow. Oh. Yeah, this level was a little, little tricky, dicky. Ah, oh, what? Yeah, I, was, I actually wasn't paying attention to as a to that fireball, so I got hit. So this one might take me a couple tries. This is when the game actually starts getting a little tough, at least for me personally. So, I mean, it's the final level, so it, it makes sense. Oh, I thought, oh man, ah, this, uh, yeah, this is really a uh, gonna have to just steal myself for for this and kind of focus. Can't uh, can't be can't be playing around too much. Now with the, not with the insta kills all over the place. Yeah, could have uh, made it on that one, but nope. Didn't want to didn't want to risk it. And maybe I should try to hit hit this thing. See if I can uh, see if it has a nope. Doesn't have a whip upgrade, so might be better just to uh, skip those guys. Ah oh, no, dang it. Yeah, it might be better just to, to avoid these guys and just go up, not even try to kill them. Sometimes it is better in these games just to not even uh, interact with the monsters. Like, you know what? I I can probably get past these guys before they do. Oh, no. Well, at this point, might as well just, just take the charge. Yes, yeah, this, this level's probably going to take me a few, few goes of it before I... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Dang it. Yeah, see? And I wanted to duck, but it took me down to the stairs, so... Alright, I'm gonna be back when I get to that specific spot of the level, so I'll be right back in a second. Alright, we made our way back here, finally, after redoing the section a couple of times. Yeah, and it took me a few tries, but I finally was able to get to do it, so... But, yeah, this, this level is a little tricky. I wouldn't say the worst, but it definitely has some challenge to it, so... And luckily I was able to... At least in this run, I was able to get it to where I didn't take any damage. But, uh... Very rare. I'm surprised I was even able to get to it in the first place. But when you do the same area a couple times, you eventually learn some of its patterns. Although I'm not as quick to learning as I used to be. I'll admit I'm a little um, slow when it comes to stuff like that. So my reaction is definitely time is not as it used to be. So. A very short area. Actually, was there? No, I, I think I hit those blocks, didn't I? And it's not like I need the meat if there was there. So oh, another short area. Excellent. We can just go straight through it, no problem, easy peasy. I wonder if they, uh, I wonder which game used those, like, creatures that we see there b below us, those things that can't be killed. Because weren't they in Metroid as well? Oh, uh, uh, we can't have an easy floor. Nope, we have the, f have the floor collapse on us, so. But uh, this is another area where Grant shines as a, uh, as the player. The only problem is that if you, uh, really? I was... I didn't think I was close enough for that. Okay, whatever. But anyway, um, ooh, nice, a one-up. I actually would like that, yes. Um, the thing with the grant, though, is you go too fast, an enemy might, like, spawn on top of you. Because you have to, like, 
uh, enemies won't spawn until they hit like a certain area because of the pixel limitation and all that stuff. So, eh, maybe I should switch to uh, Trevor to finish that guy off. So, better hurry on that though. Because yeah, otherwise you'll uh, you'll get insta killed as soon as I think as soon as your feet touch touch this ground, it'll you know the ground is lava or however you want to call it. You know, nope, nothing there. But yeah, I prefer the one man in this case. I can't believe I got hit there. Really. Yeah, it's just the danger of it. Oh, better. oh no, no ah. Well, there goes my one man. Jeez. Thanks for that, I guess. Oh well. Yeah, let's see if we can. Actually, I think I remember this area. Is there? Yeah, meat there. Excellent. All right, excellent. Yeah, I don't care about getting whatever's over there. You can take that. I think it's supposed to be. I think it's just a heart or whatever. Actually, I think we're near the boss. Actually, if I recall, like just a couple floors, ready to go. So. All right, and another way to bypass the level completely. Oh, oh, come, oh God. Brr. I hate that the crows do so much damage if they hit you. Like, it's insane. You know, the thing is, uh, we actually have to go through, if I remember correctly, I think you have to go through that section and this section to fight the boss. So, me taking all that damage is pointless because I'll have to redo this anyway when I die. So, I mean, I'm... I might get lucky and not have to fight the boss again, but I doubt it. This, I want to say this boss is super tough. It really depends on who you are playing as. Uh, Grant, oh well, I'll show you here in a second why it can be tough depending on who you're playing as. You think it's Medusa here, but it's going to be the Doppelganger. Yeah, if you play as... Okay, so the way the Doppelganger works is he will copy whoever your companion is. So the way to fight him is almost to kind of like swap companions... Well... Usually what you do, want to do is want to swap companions out at certain opportune times. So if you're playing as um, Trevor, ooh, if you're playing as Trevor, he'll use a, the cross, or he'll use the boomerang on you. If you're playing as uh, Grant, he'll always use the axe on you. So the idea is to figure out like which is easier to dodge. Technically the axe is easier to dodge, but it depends on where you're standing at too. Cause you know, obviously the AI is going to use the axe whenever it's in a decent position. So, usually I like starting out... Oh, actually, I should have been hitting those candles as Trevor so I could get, like, his axe built up. Or axe. So I could get his whip built up. And then I could just kill a, a Medusa heads to try and get... Because they can possibly drop... They can possibly drop your whip upgrade. <laughs> uh, I forgot those things just fall straight through. Eh, uh, we might be fine with a small whip. Maybe. And I think... I'm trying to remember. I think if you don't have a sub-weapon with Trevor, he doesn't use his boomerang. But if you have... If you're using a Grant, he will use his axe no matter what you've got, I think. I could be wrong, though. I tend to find fighting, like, as Grant easier, I think. Mainly just because of the speed. And for whatever reason... Doppelganger Grant will never use his dagger on you. He'll usually use the axe. At least, if he can use the dagger, I don't notice it. Yeah, see? Actually, I'm kind of surprised I did that the first go. <laughs> I was expecting to die quite a few times there, to tell you the truth. I guess I just... Well, I mean, I died. You know what I mean. I didn't expect to... I thought I had to continue. So, All right, this is it. Yeah, Tre Grant takes the lead. I did this, Trevor. Or, yeah, I did this, Trevor. The doppelganger can't fight me. Anyway, all right, let's switch back to Trevor so I can actually get some upgrades for that. Yeah, I was actually expecting to die there. I took so much damage from from that guy, but um, I'm trying to remember who actually is. Maybe Grant is the easiest one to fight as, because uh, I think I remember Alucard being kind of annoying. The doppelganger of Alucard to be uh, pretty obnoxious to fight, if I remember correctly. But it's been forever since I've done the fight with like Sypha or anything like that, or Sypha or however you want to pronounce it. So. Yeah, I don't need to grab those candles. I thought about it, so. Uh-oh, going down. Going up the stairs and going down the stairs. Oh, oh, nope, okay. Great. I got stuck. Nuts. Yeah, unfortunately, I got, I got, uh, we might be redoing this level a few times. That's right. I hate the crows. Just, cause, well, mainly because they do so much damage when they hit you. It's insane. Especially with Grant. I don't know why they were doing so much damage to Grant, but they were. Yeah, unfortunately, these blood skeletons will never 
die permanently. I, I, oh no, actually there is a way for them to die permanently. I forgot. Uh, if you play a Cypher, um, you can actually uh, freeze them and they'll they'll and then smack them and they'll die. Actually, oh, come on, I was about to say Grant can climb under that. Now that the way to get past it is to basically just. Um, Come on, a little faster. But anyway, the way to get past that is to just go over those gears as fast as you can. So, but weird enough, going down isn't too bad, even though I died. But it still isn't that bad. Especially with Grant. Grant makes a makes a lot of these sections really easy. Oh, whoops. Well, if I wasn't stupid, it would be easy. But uh, you know. He does make it easier, folks. It, I, I'm just, I'm just the bad player here. Just, uh, oh right, I was trying to get upgrades. Got to remember. Yeah, I might have to continue. Slow. <sighs> and switch to green again. Yeah, I just uh, chose the wrong pathway. Like I said, I don't, I don't play this this level, so you know, your guess is as good as mine. So there we go. That's what I wanted to do. There we go. And the... Well then. Ugh. Lovely. Nah, I didn't, don't know why I switched to Trevor there. Yeah, unfortunately we got a bit of slowdown with everything that's going on. Whew. I always keep thinking I'm gonna mess or miss up when I jump too far with with uh with Grant, just because of the his arc and everything like that. Like, I might not jump far enough, because he jumps higher, but he doesn't jump, uh... Oops. Oh, no, there we go. Whew. All right. Oh, come on. Uh, yeah, we might be coming back, coming back to this spot at, at this point. Man, that is, uh, not having a good day. I'll tell you what. Of course, we got killed by a bat. All right, I'll be back when I get back. I'll when I get back to this room specifically. All right, we're back. Uh, didn't take too long to get back here. Luckily, I was able to do it without dying this time. But uh, yeah, I was about to say, speak of the devil. We got a bat amongst the horizon. Luckily, these guys' pattern isn't too bad. It's just really the bat randomly appearing is is the problem. Oh, and the collapsing floor, of course. Which it will do that. It will do that, folks. Let's switch to Grant since he's super fast anyway. Light on his feet. Quick as a nail. Flash, flash, flash. Oh, right. Ah, uh, oh, no. Crap. Dang it. There we go. Whew. I mean, I could have done it without getting hurt, but yeah. Beggars can't be choosers now, can they? All right, I got some spiders and a skeleton with a whip. Gonna whip it. Whip it good. Do, 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 do. It's like the enemies saw, like, Trevor, what he was doing, and they're like, you know what? I could do that. You know, I, I'm gonna try it. I, I have a feeling I'm gonna get something out of this. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, well, all right, I'll take the hit. Why not heal? Ah, oh, I didn't even heal me all the way. Boo. Boo earns. Right, that was Steve Hams. All right. Actually, I think this design of this area kind of feels familiar. Kind of like the scene where we fought the doppelganger, where it's kind of rem it's reminiscent of uh, Medusa's lair from the first game. Should have kept the axe. Oh well. <laughs> Salt in the wound. Salt in the wound. Ooh, got a little bit of a clock theme going on here. Didn't we already do a clock tower? You know, from from when we did the clock tower. We fought, found Grant in his uh, ghost pirate form. I think that's actually what that boss is called, like the ghost pirate. Uh, this is why bats suck. <laughs> I just got, I just got my joke. Yeah, I'm doing like that thing where like modern comedians will like explain the joke, and uh, and that makes it not funny. <laughs> I, I actually really dislike when comedians have to over-explain a joke. Like, it's funny the first time, maybe, but... But, uh, we've got... We've hit it, folks. This is finally Dracula's, uh, area, so now when we 
continue will continue here. So we'll see how many tries. How many tries will it take me this time? Will it take one try, like uh, in Castlevania Legacy or, or Legends or whatever? Or will I uh, beat it the first time? Or will I take like 20 billion times like uh, my previous encounters? Well, the answer may shock you. All right. Well, actually, this is actually I should just kill myself because frankly, this is gonna get me nowhere. So but anyway, it's time to fight Ca uh, Dracula. Why did I do that? Like, I, uh, anyway, yeah, he starts off okay. I could swear you start at at him this time, huh? Hmm. Maybe that's why this game's so hard is because you don't actually start at a uh, Dracula's throne. You actually start at a uh, um, here instead. Maybe that's maybe that's why I'm remembering from before because I could swear you started at that stairs section there. But uh, hmm. all right, well, that's what the game wants to do with us, isn't it? Huh? Yeah, maybe that's why it's so difficult, because Dracula's final, like, Dracula's form is di difficult, but, well, amongst other... Yeah, and you want to try to get to Dracula with, like, no damage, huh? So, that's how they get you. Uh, yeah, I don't... The Holy Water isn't very good against... Well, actually, there is one form of him that's good against this fight, but if I die, I'll just have to skip when I get to uh, Dracula's uh, throne room. Because, yeah, you have to fight all these bats, and then get to Dracula, and you're like, hey, I'm ready to go, and if I die, we'll just start off here, right? Right? And then, yeah, the game's like, nope. Oh, no, no! Should've just jumped up. I don't know why I jumped straight right. Yeah, and see, the game is kicking me right here, so that means, you know, I just have to suck it up and accept my accept my pain and my suffering. And they give you the, they give you the food all the way back here, too. It's like, dude, I'm gonna need it later. You know that, right? Oh well. Yeah, I might just have to skip when I get back to the the uh, when I get to the throne room. <sighs> yeah, I wish I, I did wish really wish I had the axe there. I wonder if you could keep killing um spiders to uh respawn the uh, the axe there or something like that. Actually, I almost I was almost gonna make the, I was thinking about making this the you know final episode of it, but I don't know how many times it's gonna take me to beat Dracula. Although I could just cut to when I do my official run of fighting Dracula. I was just I was trying to, you know, play it legit, you know what I mean? Well legit as in you know, not uh like showing mo most of my runs doing it. But at some point, you know there was, which one was it? Was it Rebirth the one I showed it like it took me like an hour to do and I cut even I cut that down and it was still Seriously game? Seriously? Ugh. I was almost thinking about maybe splitting this off into one more episode where it's just me fighting Dracula, so that might be a good time. That way I can kind of prepare myself and get to the Dracula's throne room with as much life as I can. So, all right, I guess that's it for this episode. So will Trevor and Grant be able to defeat Dracula in his final form? How many times will it take me to? And will it take me 30 minutes to an hour and I'll just cut it down? We'll find out next time in the finale of Castlevania Three: Dracula's Curse. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.